In this video, we are going to study coefficient of determination in Python using Jupyter Notebook. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, this is an educational video only and no professional advice is included within it. Okay, so let's go into the web browser where the Jupyter Notebook is located. So the first step here is we need to add a new cell below and we do so by clicking on the insert cell below button. And then we have the first step within the video is that we need to import the corresponding package. Therefore, we comment this as step one package. And we're going to import statsmodels.apism. We're importing that feature from statsmodels for data downloading. Then we're going to import statsmodels.formula.api as SMF. We're importing that feature from stats models for multiple linear regression calculation. To run this code lines or this cell, we go ahead and click run or shift enter on the keyboard, which is equivalent. Then we continue with step number two, which is a data. For data, we're going to create an object named house prices underscore object, which is equal to SM feature from stats models dot datasets dot get underscore r dataset and we open parenthesis the first of its parameters which is a data name equals to and within quotations house prices comma package equals to and within quotations aer comma cash equals to true so what we're doing here is we're downloading house prices object from our package AER and with cash equals to true means that we save the data locally so we don't need to go ahead and download it every time we run the code. Notice that this will download the data and its documentation within house prices object. Therefore, we're going to create a new object named house prices and that one only includes data therefore it's going to be equal to house prices underscore object and we get it's a data attribute next step is we want to visualize part of this data therefore we use print function and within parenthesis we have house prices dot ILOC which stands for integer location and we're going to select with semicolons, all the rows from columns zero to three with Python notation, we're going to visualize the first three columns of data. And with the data frame head method to visualize only part of the data. So again, to run this code lines, we go ahead and press shift enter on the keyboard. And as we can see, this prints part of the data frame. We have the first five rows of data and the first three columns which we are concerned with in this video, and the columns are price, lot size, and bedrooms. If you want to read the full documentation of this data, you can do so with the following code line, which is print, and within parentheses, from house prices underscore object, we get its dot to underscores doc to underscores attribute, and we press shift enter on the keyboard. And there you can read the full documentation for the data. Now that we have data ready, we can continue with step number three, which is the model. For this, we're going to create an object named MLR because we're going to fit a multiple linear regression. Therefore, equals to SMF feature from stats models dot OLS, which stands for ordinary least squares. And within parentheses, we have the following parameters. The first of this, which is formula equals to, and within quotations, because it is a string, we have as dependent or explained variable price. And it's been explained by, with a special character, independent or explanatory variables of lot size plus bedrooms, comma. Data equals to the house prices object we created above and we go ahead and fit this regression. 
and to run this cell we press shift enter on the keyboard then we continue with the following step step number four which is printing of results for this we're going to first print and within parentheses from mlr object we're going to get its summary method open and close parentheses and we go ahead and press shift enter on the keyboard as we can see this prints the ordinary least squares OLS regression results and specifically we're going to focus right here at R squared and adjusted R squared an important observation here is because we fitted in multiple linear regression this is a coefficient of multiple determination so first we have right here the R squared that's the percentage of the variance of the dependent variable explained by its relationship with independent variables. And below we have the adjusted R squared, and that's the percentage of the variance of the dependent variable explained by its relationship with independent variables adjusted for degrees of freedom. Also, we can print directly both the R squared and the adjusted R squared. So what we do next here is we print and from the MLR object we get its R squared property and below with print also from that MLR object we get its R squared underscore adjusted property as well. So we go ahead and to run this code lines we press shift enter on the keyboard and notice that this printed first the R squared and below the adjusted R squared. If we see both of these values and compare them with the ones we have right here, we see that they are the same. So with this, we finish the code. So we go ahead and save it. And with this, we finish this video. Thank you for watching.